and we've come out uh, to, well this is Bowville which looks like quite a nice little place and quite bustling for a Sunday morning well just enough to take some uh, photos at the end of it Just come back to Steve's place to have a look at this 54 AU. To do a sort of video conference for a chap in England who might be interested in buying it. Tuesday the 16th of March after a couple of rather cold dull days the day has dawned rather nice you can hear from the birds I should think I think today's plan is to do some gardening clearing some cuttings down in the orchard which is down at the far end of the runway Steve's had a gardener come and lop the trees we've just got to clear up the rubbish that is left that rain in February, the water filled this pond enough to drain away from the drain pipe, through the drain pipe. You can see how much it's dropped, it'd be a good two feet. Here comes the farm truck. Yeah, that looks a, a lot neater. Oops, a wheel spin there ground is still quite wet. There we go. That's off to the Deschettery this afternoon. Or maybe even just after coffee. That hedge trimmed as well. Cuttings ready to go. And the sun is just lovely and warm. Lovely. So I'm giving the camper a bit of an airing. As it's a sort of photography day I thought I would show you a typical lunch arrangement out here where it's sheltered but in the sun didn't really shoot much this afternoon we did some stuff in the garage changed some tires uh, a bit more gardening and that's about it for another day it's quarter to curfew time quarter to six and uh, tomorrow morning taking two cars for control technique apart from that we're done for today thing not sure you can see that taped up the windscreen because we're expecting rain rain is forecast so we taped it up to see if we can eradicate the windscreen as a source of the leak this morning we're going to take two cars for their control techniques their MOTs so Steve's driving the 2CV I'm driving a Pluriel with errant warning signals all the time. It's a lovely sunny day today. Let's hope it stays like this. The forecast was rain on last night, but no sign of it. I don't know if you can make out, but in the distance, the other side of the hills, are two columns of steam. There's a nuclear power plant and the uh, CT station is right near there so it's it's easy really to find it because you just keep heading for the steam for the cooling towers. There are the cooling towers that we're heading for. <laughs> I barely had time for a coffee before the cot visit was completed and now I'm heading back to Tufai. Well the 2CV that we rebuilt has passed its control technique and we're now about to go to the Deschettery to get rid of the stuff that we cut the other day or loaded as well at the Deschettery we've been told which bin to put it in and we've also been told we must sweep up and keep it clean afterwards and to be careful because the wind will make a mess of everything but as you can see the place is immaculate Just, uh, there's 
no traffic lights, there's no one controlling the traffic. You just have to observe the uh, the lorry. Look, on Thursday the 18th. It looks like it might be a nice day, but it was certainly a cold night. Next outdoor task is to get rid of all this rance, this uh, brambles. So the view from the swimming pool is clear right down the valley. Not bad for an hour. Made some progress without too much blood. All weather's here at the moment. Uh, it's now the 19th. It's Friday the 19th and it rained last night. I'm not sure how heavily it rained, but it did rain. And this morning, the Dian is completely dry. So what I don't know at the moment is whether the insulation tape we put around the windscreen worked or whether it just didn't rain enough to leak. So I'm going to leave it on, maybe even drive it and see, see what happens. So I'm doing a bit more editing videos, trying to stay warm in here and I have a visitor who comes in most evenings but today he's decided it's too cold and wet outside and he's going to come in for company and some warmth. It's Charlie. Well, this afternoon the sun has come out at last. It's uh, what is it, half past three. And in the list of almost never ending little jobs, drive shaft cater on the camper van is what we're tackling this afternoon. Yep, ten minutes later, wheels off. And I've got pick up the dry shaft gate is all split. Drive shaft completely out. And now I'm just taking the old gator off to put the new one on. Dry shaft gator is on. And just doing up the hub and then put the wheel back on. Job done. That went went smoothly so let's hope the uh, drive shaft gator lasts longer than about the three months the previous one did. I'm glad the drive shaft was as quick and easy as it turned out to be because after a couple of hours of sunshine we've got more rain. Saturday the 20th and another cold cold night. We're taking the two CV, we re back uh, a little while, so I'm going to move the die and put it in the sunshine so it can defrost. But it's Saturday and I haven't started since Monday, so too bad in this cold.
this camera angle you can't really see, even see it, but it's looming over us here.